Check it out. 60 frames a second. What, is, what sort of futuristic nonsense is this? Now, I'm going to... I can't speak too much beer. I'm going to cut up, butcher, mangle, or otherwise, the chicken. Now, the chicken has already been killed and plucked and gutted and all that sort of stuff. Like, this isn't a uh, an earthy sort of effect. This is what we're going to do. This isn't one of those farm to table sorts of uh, arrangements. This is, excuse me. This is about getting more out of a chicken than you normally would if you were just gonna bung it in the oven. Um, this has been reared by a black farmer with a, a union flag. Um, neither of which I care about. What I care about even less is that the, it's organic. I don't care one jot for organic, it's nothing but a marketing scam. However, I am very careful to make sure that my chicken is free range and that whatever meat uh, we're talking about is uh, is welfare assured in whatever other way. And I understand that to be organic, to qualify as such, welfare standards need to be met which are at least as good as those prescribed by the free range label people. If that makes any sense. If you can't find something that's <coughs> free range, then have a salad. Now, um, the way to do it is to, first of all, this is what they call the wrong knife for the job. That's because who the hell's got a million different knives? This one is a, a fillet knife, and it's a little bit pretending it's a bit too much for that, but that's that's fine. Um, now, up here in the old nick orifice, you can feel with your finger, and certainly with the edge of your knife, the wishbones. So I'm just making a little cut down there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Inebriated blade work is the best blade work. I'm just sticking my fingers in and I'm just pulling out those. Ah, there we go. Oh, I need to think. I'll put straight in the bin under here. So now we have no wishbone. This is good. Now, um, I'm trying to do this so that you can see. I'm going to give it a little. Oops. <laughs> just. <laughs> quality programming. I just got a little bit of a nick there and a little bit of a nick just here. This is proper sharp by the way. And I'm gonna oh, pop it like this. See, pop, pop, pop. Let's take some of this off here. I hope you can see all this. I'm gonna try and make it as visible as possible. And they're all kind of cracking back right back there. So you can feel with your fingers having just popped them out of the sockets. Exactly where the ends of the bones are, see? There's a end of, uh, I suppose they call it feelers for these two. But it means you can cut it right off. Without having to go through any bone or out. Here we go. Ah. Yoink. Easy. Um, the wings, same deal really. Um, Give them a bit of a cut, pop them out of the socket, and that gives you a nice opportunity to cut the limb off without without going through any bone, because nobody really wants to see bone fragments in their dinner. Right, so these are the two main appendages, and now all we have here is the rest of the carcass with the with the the breasticles on it. Now, um, having taken out that wishbone at the start, it means I can go and do a real deep cut there. See, and all that is breast. And I can just pull it away with just nibble it with a knife like this and get off all of the breast with almost no waste. Which is super fucking dope, there's no toys about it. Oh, there's gonna be a little bit of waste, but that's because I've drunk too much, which is uh, 
commendable, I'm sure you all agree. Um, this side here. Now, if I were an Earth Mother type character, the remains that we will find our um, soul breast will be boiled up in some sort of pot for stock. But there is almost no meat on that at all, actually. There's always some sauce. I might get them out. I'll probably get a cut myself. I'm just going to brute force those. I'm going to fry those up as a little treat while I'm waiting for the rest of it. Now, then, now the rest of it, there's a tiny bit of meat on there. If I had... Uh, I'm, I'm the only meat eater in the family, I should say. So uh, I don't have an awful lot of use for stock. I'm going to leave the skin on. I'm going to tidy it up a little bit. Or oh, these, uh, nobody wants the wing tips. They're gruesome. And again, just a bit of tidy up here. Um, pop that out of the joint. It's all, it's all the same stuff. Pop it out of the joint, try and cut where the bones separate naturally. This uh, breast, I'm gonna let it separate because you, you'll see what I'm gonna do with it in a minute. And this one, I'm gonna do half. I don't know, this is perfect for making, um, uh, what do you call it, a Kiev, something like that would be nice. Maybe I'll just put it right there and zing. See, when the rest of the family is out as they are tonight, I have all of the beer and lots of meat, if you know, if, if I can. Which is why I have these butchery frenzies. You know, they're popping that off. Now, I'm not entirely sure about this. When it comes to drumsticks, I'm not entirely sure about the wisdom of this. So if you have any advice about that, see, I've just cut the... Um, what do they call that? Is it the hock? Yeah, I don't know. I, I just cut that off. And so this is going to, as it cooks, it's going to shrink up there and give me some sort of lollipop sort of... Uh, lollipop time sort, sort of arrangement. So that, that's good. Um, I'm just going to do this by feel. I can feel it. That the, it's just there. So here we go. There may be bone fragments, but... I don't think so, I honestly don't. And uh, so, what do we call this? Is this the Supreme? That's the little bit that's stuck inside of it, I don't know. But, um, very nice, I'm taking that off. And um, the reason I'm cutting the breasts into three that way is because I want all of the bits to be about the right size, about the same size, you know. Um, because of what I'm gonna do next. So here we go. And just fill my fingers where it articulates, about here. Lovely. Cool. So, one chopped up chicken. We've got, well, you saw the carcass that we, we threw away, the uh, the, the Thor, uh, what, what do you call that? Um, I don't know, the main ribcage and spine and what have you. Then we've got a few wing and, uh, and leg bits. Now, quick wash of the hands. I'm going to show you the, the next bit. Which is a bit of a surprise to some, uh, because it involves a bin bag. Super. This bin bag is one of the IKEA bin bags. No, 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 no. What I'm talking about, not IKEA. Costco. There we go. I get the two mixed up because they're quite close to each other. They won't be aware of it. Um, I'm sticking them all in the bin bag. I don't know. I can't remember what that is. I might save that for later. Maybe have that as a nice, uh, a nice, um, or a garnish on the end of a, on the edge of a glass for a gin and tonic, perhaps. I don't know. No, I think that's taking a bit. Oh, another hand wash. My obsession with cleanliness and hand washing and things like that is, uh, all right, it's useful to have, but it's not born from any fear of the beasties that chicken can give you it's 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 more to do with the fact that because i'm the only meat eater i i have to make sure that everything as i say is clean of meat for the others so so nobody has to put up with any um specks of blood fat or skin in there in their um in their So 
maybe didn't see any of that. I don't know. Shows me I've been uncommonly articulate. Now, obviously, the best thing you could possibly do would be to deep fry the fucking lot, but having been becoming something of a big fat fatty, I'm trying to um, eschew the deep frying and espouse the, the dry oven in. There we go. Uh, So I really have no idea how much of that you saw and whether indeed you, you, you missed uh, the, the cool bits. They were cool bits. Oh yes, they were cool bits. One has to sacrifice one's Costco bag, unfortunately. So, listen here. And now we have da 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 One chicken, all prepared for the oven. Of course, had I been a little less um, excuse me a moment, I just want to have that. Had I been a little less of a lush, I'd have preheated the oven, but obviously I've forgotten a bit of that, so. <coughs> oh dear. So we only a lava can, don't worry. So uh guess what thing for some minutes. And uh, very important that you preheat the oven. It's also very important you use the right knife, that you don't drink, that you don't. Uh, oh, yeah, everything's important, and uh, etc. That whole chicken you would normally give, uh, what was it, 40 minutes per kilo plus 20 or something, I can't remember, but um, because I've all chopped it all up, it'll all be done in half an hour. Right, super twist, let's see how much of a massive gap I left in there. I wish it would go bing or something when it's going to stop recording, but it stopped recording, there we go. Ah, what's this, see that? That is actually just water from me being so terribly, terribly clean. But for all those who think of my chicken juice, just give me some, no, no, not this one. Just give it, give it this one, Swift Power and Shine, because this has got bleach in it and thing in it. And blah, 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 blah. I use this a lot, so fingers crossed it doesn't end up causing cancer. One of those things you're never gonna know. It's got for 50 years or so. Of course, back in the, uh, the 2010s, people were going mad for this kitchen cleaning product, which smelled lovely, got the job done. Little did the poor people know that it was full of cancer causing things. And that's why, in 2050, the world population has been fixed. Oh yeah, it's chicken time. Oh yeah, it's chicken time. Oh yeah, it's chicken time. Oh yeah, chicken. Oh yeah, it's chicken time. Oh yeah, it's chicken time. Oh yeah, chicken time. It's chicken, chicken time.